Good evening and welcome back to The Crust where I am going to take on a big contract. We have got a contract here for 6,028 smart concrete and if I mouse over this you'll see I have 10,000 concrete stored. <laughs> yes I do. So let's see why. That is because I have been doing things um, to try and get stuff to uh, do the things. It's the best way to describe it. Um, stuff kept backing up. I just just kept backing up on on the, on the back and it was mainly concrete that was backing up so i thought you know what but i'm gonna do this here and we stashed loads of concrete in here and then the machines downstairs started struggling because they don't have enough concrete now it should prioritize the concrete machines first and then send the things upstairs which it does but the problem is, is that if we're in a lull so we don't have enough silicon making concrete the stuff up here is just can't we can't use it we just can't do anything with it so I do not think I would rebuild this system like this. Yes, it's nice to transport goods very, very quickly, but I really feel like these should be in line with the grid. So the the uh, the sorry with the the bus in line with the machine. So the machines all get the stuff first, and then um, uh, sorry, there's there's a storage, but after storage, the machine gets stuff. So nothing is just stored and stashed. And left maybe have a little bit of storage like these Every, everyone has a a little single one that grabs just so that you can always have a, a supply of goods and you make sure that's the, the first one you get um that's that's the priority to fill the little storage just so you can use them to repair things and build things and do stuff because you need that but the big storage of glass there is like 10,000 concrete upstairs doing nothing and uh, then these guys here start running out of smart concrete because they don't have any because we're not producing any so it's like yeah, I, I don't I don't think this layout's very good. So what I've done is some machines I've turned on so that the bots can actually deliver to them. Um, I think just the bottom ones on each of the machines. So so we still get stuff coming in, but yeah, I don't feel as if we'll do that again. So there you go, contract complete. Two hundred eighty-five thousand for delivering six thousand smart concrete. So yeah, so it's going down here. It's doing this. It's uh, comes in here. It's between the two. Gets all stored, but can't do anything with it. So so. Mm, yeah, uh, we're also running low on components because we don't have any steel. Um, our, our whole system dried out because I reloaded the game and I left it running for a bit and none of my miners were mining, which is very helpful. So we run out of resources completely. I have restarted the mining. However, this map is so bad. The, the RNG on this map is terrible. Uh, so, so I want a bit of uh, steel, iron. Like It's dotted around, that's fine. But then I want a bit of titanium. It doesn't seem to overlap. Like this might like a little bit here maybe you can overlap the two but silicon is here in the major places and there's a little bit of iron there but there's no titanium nearby there's, there's like nowhere you can go where you can mine three resources at once at least not very successfully i mean i think up here we're mining like 20 percent iron 28 percent titanium do you mind i was looking at that um a little bit of silicon a little bit of aluminium and then down here we're doing most of titanium and silicon so I keep having to move them around, um, or I could build another MDR, and that would probably work as well. Uh, so my, uh, yeah, we've got loads of time, no worries, no problems whatsoever. It's being hampered by resources coming in. Either we have lots of one thing and not enough of another, or, you know, vice versa. Like, I can either choose to have loads of silicon coming in, or loads of aluminium, or loads of iron. I can't seem to get a mix of all of them together, which is a bit of a pain. I see that aluminium now has backed up completely, but that's fine. Aluminium is not a problem. Um, what I have done as well um, is expanded the rare earth metals. Oh, let's unlock this now. But uh, so that these uh, are producing more because we don't have enough to run all of our circuits here um, and to make the dry aluminium here. Could we need this? We need this right now. Um, I think we are. Yeah, we're doing titanium now. So I've done the drill aluminium, drill, drill aluminium i've done titanium plates we're doing nanotubes the modular frames are the problem though and i said i've left the game running for quite a while just just had it sat here running doing its thing oh, wrong buttons wrong buttons um and because the smart concrete stopped even though i had loads of it in stock we had no modular frames being made so that's why i'm i don't think i'm going to build something like this again i've done it a few times and it's nice to deliver things good i think i'd have the storages for all these things here right smack paying in front of the elevator we'd have all the storages here every item would be stored here and so you'd, you'd have like iron first and, and then there'd be a row of boxes coming down here and then you have the smelters over here that come down into them 
and then they come out of them come along to the machines that are over here like we've done here and the machines come back into the boxes which is kind of awkward because it means you sort of have to build backwards or you have to have a line that comes out along and then goes back along that way so or you split it or you do so yeah i'm really not sure how i'd how i'd build this I, I i feel like you might need to mine out way more of an area before you start building your bus like you might need to mine out all the way to the map edge basically and then work your way back um and then because it all seems to fit pretty well like like we see we're on the map edge there we get to here we still need to add these two in as well so you need to add a little bit more in over there um and then you come here so like you put your components right on the map edge over here Plop. um and then you run along the only thing you uh wouldn't do is this this doesn't need to be in line with your bus it can be wherever because it's completely independent it doesn't require any inputs from the bus so there's no point in taking up space on the bus this could probably be placed like above up here um and you could probably do colonists like up here as well um if you wanted to so you could have that and have like your ice stuff in between and have it mixed between the colonists and the thing and then and also that would allow you to expand this because yeah, I need to expand this. There's, you, you, these only have one. See, they've got no iron. We, we, we've, we're running out of steel. That's the problem. We've run out of steel. Um, and I've changed up these here to no longer be um, uh, storage. Uh, because I wanted to use the resources that were in here. And I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. So we're going to undo all this um, and put this back to be a uh, an input from all of them but on there you go so we have some on on hand as well um yeah so i think that would be the best the best layout would either be you have the smelters over here look out the way and they come down and join the bubble you want to you want to join it over here somewhere because you potentially could have lots of containers for your for things every time something backs up add another container for a bigger buffer so yeah um so you'd have lots of lots of containers there and uh then you would have the manufacturers over here or maybe even down um and then the stuff comes up to it it's i, I don't really know which way i do the layout for it but i do feel like you need to go to one of the walls and work your way back and um, that would probably work better i think I think either that or you could have the elevators do like we've done here, go upstairs. Uh, oh, wrong, button, wrong, wrong, wrong upstairs. Go upstairs and then have them all come back down again um, and join the bus. Which, it, uh, yeah, maybe, no, perhaps. And, yeah, it's a bit weird. It's a bit weird. I don't feel like perhaps here is where you should have your smelters and then have the belts run along and down like this. Because there's plenty of space. Like, I've got all this space doing nothing. Do nothing. There's plenty of space dotted around, so it's not not a problem. Not a problem. Space-wise, we're good. We're good. You've got loads of space on the ground. Loads more than you think. So, oh, there's actually some titanium coming in. Hurrah! Hurrah! Um, yay! Still haven't upgraded some of these actual machines to faster speeds yet, but hmm, we just need some iron coming in because we need some steel in order to uh, repair things. So these need circuit boards. So yeah, these all need steel. Might buy some steel in. Um, I think we have a problem with steel, so let's uh, let's buy some steel in. Uh, if we bought a cool container that cost twelve grand, whoopie doo! Steel is not a problem. Steel is a steel. This wants to allow drop off. Yeah, these all want to allow drop off. Also, change the belts on them so they would be reset. and drop off there. There you go. Okay, so silicon's coming on. Silicon's actually making silicon first because that's yeah. But we need we need to make this as well. I kind of feel like I always need one miner always doing silicon, and then another miner doing the other three things. Like silicon's because it's used in smart concrete as well, and you need to get rid of the slag. Basically, there's no other way to get rid of slag. I haven't seen the contract in this guy here for taking slag, like f ever. I just just don't I just don't see it. It's like. I really need your help. I really need to get rid of some of my slag. I could just put mass storages in and have it stored the slag, but then I'd be worried about doing the same thing of the whole, uh, oh, we've got loads of slag stored over here and these don't have any slag in them. So you want to kind of put it in line, but we're okay actually, because the slag here on the machines, is fine. We've only got the end ones, which are kind of full up. 
um and i think that is because we've got the outputs there and we've got stuff coming into them so i'd love to be able to prioritize the lower three of these over this one but there's no way to do that you can't prioritize outputs on a um conveyor elevator which is a bit of a shame yeah there's no what was the game there's no way to um prioritize what's yeah because um, i'd like to prioritize the other three and leave this one um like later so it does these ones first and then does this one later but it's fine the other ones are just filling up because th this is the one where we c this is the drop off for our bots and uh this also has an input from the underground so yeah um and it's the last one on the line which means it always fills up first so that's another issue um with this sort of layout but it needs to be having the, the run throughs like we have here where it all goes through means the first one's empty of their goods before anyone else's because it seems to prioritize like the the, the first on the belt because you're, you're adding one here and then you're adding one here and then adding one here and then adding one there um uh, it, it it all just yeah so it doesn't it doesn't balance well i don't know how you'd balance this better than that Uh, 240 plus 240 plus 240 is 720 and the fastest belt we have is 600 so you can't do three on a belt okay couldn't do three on a belt so and they don't output fast enough. I don't worry the outputs aren't quick enough for that but I'm just wondering if there might be a way of doing this so that you load them and then have the stuff come out like this way and then have them have like these come to this side and these come to this side and they come to like a central a central line so they're they all still join the same line but they're all balanced onto the line rather than prioritizing these ones over that one and um just to help the throughput because a lot of times these this one especially stopped working like these these two have stopped working now so they're not processing the other ones because they're full of um aluminium because they can't output the aluminium because as soon as any of these get aluminium they're outputting a little bit down for the aluminium so we need to get rid of some aluminium uh can anyone anyone want to buy some alloy you want to buy some alloy anyone anyone typical now i was looking for concrete um ones earlier on concrete concrete and steel i wanted to get rid of concrete and steel a while ago no one wanted concrete and steel nah, look at that um it is it really is they want the stuff you don't have they want this they want the stuff you don't have and the stuff you do have they're like nah nah You want aluminium. You can have 500 aluminium. Uh, oh, let's change that to a small pod. Oh. Do, 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 do. You want aluminium and titanium. That's not going to work for us. Um, you want some aluminium? Let's send that as well. Yoink, go. can't do the components i don't have the components that's a problem um, i need to clear out the aluminium in order to uh make the other resources if that makes sense you, you, need, you need to you, you need to be using all the items that come in the problem to that is that you would need you need four or five um regular miners on the moon you, you, you need four or five um well uh four or five mdrs on the moon one doing each resource and one doing rare metals i think um and then might even need more pricing than this might even need more pricing than this I don't know how you can't do more pricing this because this is kind of the it's, it's it's not technically the maximum throughput because you've got two on this side as well but one needs to be rare of metals so you've got one extra output which means you could build instead of eight you could build 10 multi-regulus machines if you really wanted to but 
Yeah, one day we'll get multiple cargo pods as well. They work, they're working on that. Apparently they're working on multiple cargo pods, so, so yeah, that'll be okay. Uh, right, how are we doing here? You you are you are nearly done. So nanotubes are nearly done, which is good. Nanotubes are fine. Nanotubes are here, right? Nope, here. Yep, and you need silicon. Yep, you need silicon. What a surprise. What a surprise. Silicon, excuse me, is going to the chips first. Um and again, this is this is one. The microcircuits. I don't need the microcircuits stored upstairs. We don't sell them. We don't sell them. We, we want to keep them for our things. The, some of these items, some of these items you'll sell like a little bit here and there, but most of the time, like microcircuits don't sell. Carbon uh, fiber never sell. Um, but stuff like the basic resources, we definitely sell. Um, sometimes the modular terminals and sometimes things. Oh, I've also added another modular terminal one because we need 3,000 for the next stage of modular terminals. Um, but yeah, so having these up here, just this this is just completely wasted. So what I should do then is I should come down here to, is it you guys that want, what should I, you want no, you don't want anything, no, no, um, who is it, who was it, who was it that I was just looking at, uh, that wanted a thing, you need concrete, um, what's going on with the concrete, oh we're not getting any more in, but we have, up here, uh, 3,000 concrete stored, so, <laughs> yeah, it's like, hmm, um, see what I'm going to do, let's, uh, pause the game, and let's enable the concrete and titanium drop off for all of these, so you, the drones can come and pick up from upstairs, and put into these guys, um, so they can actually start working, because we still need those modular frames as well, um, so I'm just going to do this, Uh, it's it's not it's not working the way I intended. Although these actually actually undo this, these aren't so bad. These are working okay, and I think we're done for dura aluminium. Uh, let me look. See, no, we need three thousand for the next stage as well. Oof, oof. How much do we have? We have uh, four hundred and thirteen. So, but these are now working, and the bugs are actually filling. Uh, he says, kind of. Um, oh, rare earth metals. Rare earth metals. Yeah, uh, that's okay. We can get them here. Let's upgrade these guys. Boop and boop. And then upgrade you. Boop and boop. So uh, if I upgrade you again, it's 150. Three, six. So I can't do that. We need to sell some more stuff. We sell any more aluminium. You want aluminium? Sell. It doesn't sell for a lot of aluminium. But um, it will also get wrap up. That's that's the important thing as well. And then when you get the wrap up, you get the better contracts to do things. So. Send your full. So let's go to this guy. Yep, there you go. Bump hemp coat. You want some metal as well? Send uh, you only ever want fuel, it seems. You're 100%. What about you? You want multiple mixes of things. I don't have any steel left. Uh, silicon, we've got 3000 apparently, even though some machines are struggling for silicon. So, yeah. I regret my earlier decisions. I regret my earlier decisions, and I'm now too lazy to um, tear it all down and rebuild it. Because we're close to the end. We, we can push through to the end of the game now. We, we can push through to the end of the game. And, uh, yeah, okay. Okay, let's, uh, there's no research left to do, so that's fine. We can't wait all these guys. Um, and then I believe they make f uh, five a minute. I do make more slag though, so this is starting to fill with slags. So slags are a problem because of um, silicon. Um, silicon's a problem because just silicon's a problem at the moment. Um, let's go back on the surface of the moon and have a look at here. So you're doing 24% silicon and 35% titanium. You are doing no silicon at all, but you're getting the other ones. A bit of iron. So, that, so this is a good mix. We're getting mostly titanium in, but I could move this guy ever so slightly to get more silicon. So if I moved you out of the titanium, let's let's put you inside that crater. Um, you'll get more uh, silicon. There's no iron here, and there's no aluminium. We could move you down here to get a bit of aluminium as well. But um, yeah, so so you can get like even amounts of silicon, and I've not really looked at where rare metals are at all. We're just kind of mining them and hoping to get them. 
but we're doing pretty well. Uh, we've got 47,000 rare metal, so yeah. Uh, of course, you've got to process through all this regolith before you can get to the new regolith you're mining. So this has got loads of titanium in it, which is fine because we need titanium. But if this fills and we're not processing the titanium fast enough, we've got problems. So yeah, um, it's it's really is such a, a not difficult balance, but you've got to babysit it. You've definitely got to babysit it. And the MDRs can uh, eat all the surface of the moon up, so they end up uh, just producing regolith. I'm not a fan of that. Um, no, I, I like that they use the resources. They're not infinite. I like that. But I'm not a fan of the... It just If they use up all the resources, they then just start producing 100% slag. I don't like that. At a certain threshold, they should cut off. They should go, there's no more resources here. You know, if, if I'm getting less than 10%, if it's 90% slag or something, or say... If I hit 75% slag, which means I've only got 25% of the other stuff, then this is not a good place to mine it and I should stop. And then proper bloop. MDR is not on resources or something, you know. Um, something like that, so. We also need people for the final one, so uh, I will have to build a place for people to live. We've got this here, uh, which I messed the size up on this completely. I made it 21 by 21, so it would have a 20 by 20 internal. No, that does a 19 by 19 internal because you've got a wall on the top and the bottom, not just on one side. So, yeah. Um, but I really should try and get, like, so we get water from there, and that's what we really need. Um, so, yeah, they need auction, and then they just need to be sent off. So, I have to get the basics in here again, um, doing things. So,. Uh, but we'll, we'll worry about that once we get to the tier, to the, that tier. We won't take long to build that. We won't take long to build that at all. So, um, yeah. Right. So you're going to get concrete from upstairs, hopefully. Yes, you are. Yep. The drone should come and deliver that. You're good. You're good. You're okay. Yep. You're okay. But you've got no silicon. But you're making nanotubes. I think we're done for nanotubes. We've got to be close to being done for nanotubes. Like 50. We could probably buy that. Probably buy that. What we can't buy is the module frames because they are too expensive. And we only have 1,040 of them. And we need uh, 3,000. Uh, how are we storing them? They're storing 512s. That's probably not helping. Does that mean the line's filling up? Um, I have turned off these machines as well up here because we don't need any more control units. Or composites. So I'll turn them off for the minute so they're not doing anything. They've just got stuff on the belts. Um, are the belts? The belts are backing up for modular frames. Nice. Okay, but we need 3,000 stored. So I need to come to the modular frames, which are here, um, and go. So that's 1,000. I'll put it this way um, 2,000, 3,000. Paste them all down like that. Let's put the conveyor in there, and then in there, and in there, there. Put them. There we go. Okay, gonna struggle for steel probably again. Yeah, we're struggling for steel. We do. We're getting more iron coming in. You're not mining any iron. You're mining some iron. Titanium, a bit of aluminium. No, aluminium and iron are quite close together there. Let's, uh, let's go over to the iron. Not that I need aluminium anymore. Actually, you you are you are mining. Yeah, mostly titanium. In. Yeah, yeah, titanium. I think is what we need. Okay, so we we'll get some iron in. That'll be fine. Okay, let's upgrade our regular machines here. I normally don't do the final upgrade on machines because 150,000 I think is expensive. But money's not a desperate problem right now. Money, money, money's not a problem. So we are producing. Uh, uh, do you please do that? I really hate the UI reset on this game. It keeps resetting the UI just before you push the button. You don't know. So they're doing 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 a minute. And they are actually physically doing 25 a minute because they need no people in them. Uh, the Dura Aluminium, which is here, which we need another 3,000 of, um, 
once three a minute if it was running 100 percent this is not um so we've got 10. uh so package delivered yeah it doesn't it, it, yeah we get enough rare of metals in now and hopefully this can fill up the uh, microchips as well so the microchips are going uh, so what i'm tempted to do with the microchips what i'm going to do with the microchips we're going to run along here So you do that there, okay. And then you double off here if there's anywhere to go to. But I think if we have our bots deliver to these guys, uh, then it would also take from upstairs and use up our resources, so. Yeah. Nothing's getting down here yet. Okay, okay, right. So, you'll be done with nanotubes very soon. Uh, we're on, we need 30 more nanotubes. Yeah, nanotubes on, won't be a problem. The only other thing we need to do is, uh, we need 3,000 modular frames. Now, fortunately, the next requirement level doesn't require 3,000 modular frames. It requires 3,500 modular terminals, which we're near, and 3,000 dual aluminium, which we're not near. 350 microprocessors we have um, and 150 controllers we have. So it's just the uh, Dura aluminium and the modular frames now that we're having problems with. So how can we fix that? Honestly, I don't feel like we can. Where am I? I think the biggest problem is that the game may have gone literally a year without any of these running because I didn't know the concrete stopped working. I didn't know my miners stopped mining because I didn't check it and I should have checked it every time you load the game, check your MDRs. You never know. You never know with them. You just never know. So, um, yeah. But I think what we need to do is, surprise, surprise, wait. A lot of waiting when it comes to the, uh, the, 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 the last, the laser gun project. Lots of waiting to get those last bits of resources done. So, um, yeah we just just need to wait and i can't do much about it right now um you are backing up because you're full of uh slag as well so that's not helping the situation here oh i also added some fuel fresheries down here um just to use a bit of aluminium and then run out of ice so yeah um now this is empty of ice because they're not mining ice because there's no because the slag's not being used because the silicon's not being used because we're not getting enough silicon coming in um yeah, so. Hmm. Hmm. I might send you even further down into the silicon region. Go here. Let's put you like in the middle of that little block there. Set it up. Um, we're also not transporting them fast enough. I actually put a second rover onto this guy um, to have two guys. So I might build another rover as well. I could push the five button, it would help. Um, let's build another rover here. Uh, and um, you can be for the other one. So we have two rovers per MDR. And that should be okay. And then I just need to look at this and go like, hey, if uh, something has stopped moving again, like aluminium or something, so if, any, if any of these lines back up, I just need to sell it. Even if I just sell it, just raw on the market. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway. We shall leave this one here. I shall leave the game running again for ages and ages and ages. And then next time we shall come back and hopefully we can finish the laser project and finish the game. And there can be much rejoicing. Just have to do a bit here. Um, I don't, I, there's also stuff here I can mine. I'm doing really bad at not mining stuff on the on the surface. So um, should really clear out the whole map and just mine everything off from underground. Anyway, thank you for watching. Until next time, as always. Have fun. Package delivered.